We just want to play, really, so I wasn't really worried about where it would be at. My dad had the plan to go overseas, and I like how that sounds. I started real league because I got vision. Go out here. Yellow going to work. Step back. How many 22 year olds out there can open their Instagram to two and a half million followers? How many can say they've already played a stint of pro hoops overseas and in the US? Who out there has their own signature shoe hit the street? And a star in a reality TV show with their fam is just a teenager? I'll tell you who. The name you're looking for is Leangelo Ball, and he's a one of one. He may be the middle child of basketball's biggest family, but unlike his brothers, Jello has overcome insurmountable odds on his quest to be great. One mistake almost derailed his NBA dreams forever. But with his fan by his side, he showed his true character and battled his way into the G League, putting him just one step away from joining his bros in the A. But how did Jello, the kid that grew up right before your eyes, finally get within arm's reach of his dreams? This is the real story of Leangelo Ball, the next Ball brother to play in the NBA. These names should be familiar to you by now. The gifted floor general for the Pelicans is his big bro Lonzo. Lil' bro Lamelo is already that dude for the Charlotte Hornets. And his pops LeVar is one of the realest dads you'll ever see. Lonzo, D'Angelo, mm -hmm. and Lamelo. Mm -hmm. I don't nobody else. Since you know the characters, I'll set the stage. Jello first picked up the pill and started training with his old man at just four years old. By six years old, he was competing with Lonzo and pushing LaMelo, but you know that nothing is ever handed to the middle child. He had to find a way to win. At seven, he played flag football with the bros, lining up at wideout with Zoe at QB throwing him dimes. Man, can you just imagine if they would have been a football family? The Ball brothers developed a chemistry over the years of playing together that gave them a clear edge over their competition. The world got to see it in 2015 when the trio took the hardwood as starters for LaVar's Ballers VXT AAU team. At this time, Leangelo was a physical 6'3 wing, but what set him apart was his soft shooting touch. It was on this team that Leangelo began to be recognized for his scoring, a three-point sniper with deep range, and a big body for bullying smaller guards inside. Other teams had to ID him as a bucket and lock up or get torched. It was a no-brainer for Coach Steve Bake to start Leangelo and Lonzo together in Jello's freshman year at Chino Hills High School. Talk about what it's like playing on the same team as your brother. All of it. Uh, he knows where I'm at. I know where he's at, so it's all good. A sharpshooter who could drain from anywhere in Jello, and a 6'5 point guard who could always find the open man in Zo. It was easy money. In his first high school season, he helped lead Chino Hills to his first ever appearance in the CIF Southern Section Open Division Championship game. Though they would fall short in the state final four against Centennial, Chino went 29-6 on the season, behind some fearless play from the freshman Jello. Coach Bake marveled at his confidence and ability to show up in big games, even as a freshman. Yeah, you know, he has no nerves. He's a great scorer. You cannot deter or mess up his confidence. Take things up a notch in year two? Jello and Zoe were joined by their cousin Andre Ball, a high flying new addition to the Husky squad. Now six foot four and 215 pounds, Leangelo was a matchup nightmare for teams all season. Lonzo had committed to UCLA at the end of last season, and rumors were spreading that they were coming after Jello too. This just gave Jello more motivation to keep grinding in pursuit of his hoop dreams. Playing alongside his brother and cousin, Jello helped Chino Hills to the CIF Division Championship game, where they would lose a heartbreaker to San Ramon Valley. Leangelo would soon learn, though, that every loss has a silver lining, or in this case, a blue and gold one. After the season, Leangelo verbally committed to UCLA. It was his first offer, but hey, sometimes you get everything you want in the first go. Lonzo and Jello had a lot to be happy about. They had just committed to the same school, and the 13-year-old little brother was going to be moving up a grade to play varsity with them next year. 
Oh, and did I mention that he verbal to UCLA as well? Talk about a family affair. Melo wouldn't be the only talented player joining the Chino Hill squad in 2015. Future Loyola Marymount star Eli Scott and current Atlanta Hawks rookie Onyeka Okungwu also played in the Hills this year. Those two in the Ball family go way back. Don't know Onyeka? We got you. Go peep his video on our page right after this one. No one knew it then, but that starting five of Jello, Lonzo, Lamelo, Eli, and Big O would go on to make history. The 2016 season would see three Ball Brothers starting for Chino Hills, all committed to UCLA. Every team would be gunning to knock them off, but they weren't ducking any smoke. They scheduled top powerhouses like Sierra Canyon, Mount Bird, and Modern Day, and beat them all. The Husky style of play proved unstoppable. They pressed full court all game long, and if you turned it over or missed a shot, they were running. Four passes and fast break threes weren't rare. They were the standard. Leangelo liked to park in front of the rim like a wide receiver, awaiting that touchdown pass in the end zone. Lamelo or Lonzo would feed him, sometimes on a full court pass, and Jello was an automatic two points in the paint. Once he got going, best believe he was stepping out to splash that three ball too. Jello led the team in scoring at 27 points per game in his junior season. Chino finished the season 35-0 and, and captured the CIF Open Division State Championship. The mythical perfect season. It awarded them national recognition, putting them in the company of the best high school squads to ever do it. The Ball Brothers and Larger Than Life Pops were being billed as must-see TV, and with each game they played, their fame grew. Lonzo would graduate from Chino Hills and star at UCLA, leaving behind his younger brothers to defend their title as the kings of California hoops. Leangelo was up to the task. Even though they would return four or five starters, it would be his team now. It was his senior year and finally his turn to take the reins. Jello had to cherish every moment. This was his final ride with the Chino Hills squad that started it all, so he had to make it special. Jello's scoring picked up right where he left off, and the defenses had no answer for G3 when he dropped 56 points against Orange Luke. I don't know if it was Mello or LaVar, but someone must have challenged him at the dinner table that night, because the very next day, Jello dropped 72 points in a game. 72! He poured in 13 three-pointers, which would have tied the single-game NBA record at the time. He also broke into the top 10 for most points scored in a game in California high school history. Jello kept the hot hand all season, while LaMelo took his own turns going viral, putting up superhuman point totals in the box score. Don't forget Melo dropped 92 that same year. Chino was eventually dethroned in a tough season ending playoff loss to Bishop Montgomery, but they finished the season 30-3, and, and Jello walked off the floor with a 65-3 record in his last two seasons of his high school career. Sheesh! G3 had capped off a legendary high school career one of the most notable in recent memory. He was gonna miss playing with his boys Onyeka and Lamelo, but he knew better than anybody that those are some straight hoopers, so he wouldn't have to worry about them. After putting on that Chino Hills jersey for the last time, leaving it all on the court for his brothers and his family, there was nothing left to do now but to head to Westwood and join the Bruins. In Leangelo's freshman year at UCLA, you could say things didn't go exactly as planned. He worked hard in the weight room, improving his bounce, but it looked like he was going to start out proving himself as a reserve off the bench. He showed himself to be a capable scorer at the college level in his first preseason game, scoring 11 points. Jello was primed to be a key contributor for UCLA, but everything changed on November 7, 2017, just days before UCLA's opener against Georgia Tech in Shanghai, China. Jello was arrested alongside teammates Cody Riley and Jalen Hill. 
The trio were accused of shoplifting sunglasses at the Louis Vuitton store next door to the team hotel in China. No one knew what would come of all of it. He and his teammates were detained in a hotel in Hangzhou until their release on November 14th where they were flown back to LA. On November 15th, Jello and his teammates apologized and confessed to the shoplifting, and the school suspended them indefinitely right at the beginning of the season. Jello's whole world was turning upside down, but luckily he had a solid family foundation and a loving father to help him through it. He was truly sorry for the mistake, but he didn't know what to do next. Should he stay on at UCLA and serve the indefinite suspension? or try to take another path to reach in his NBA dream. Leangelo has decided to leave UCLA rather than sit out the team's stiff suspension for the shoplifting incident. He turned to his father for help. Finally, on December 4th, after talking it over with his pops, Leangelo decided to leave UCLA. There was much speculation about his next move, but Jello assured everyone that his goal of making it to the NBA was still the number one focus. How are you? You guys excited for the trip? In December 2017, Jello, along with Melo, made headlines when he signed a contract with Pre Nye of the Lithuanian Basketball League. And just like that, the Ball Bros were headed overseas as pro hoopers. It took Jello and Melo a little bit to get adjusted to the European game, but these brothers were just born to ball, and eventually they were dominating again with a game changing scoring ability. Jello even caught some crazy dunks in Lithuania. I see you getting up there. He gained valuable experience as a pro in Lithuania. But more importantly, G3 saw how tough the life of an overseas player can be. Being far from everything you're used to in a foreign land can really start to weigh heavy on a person. After considering his options and thinking about his dreams to play in the league, on March 27, 2018, Jello announced he was entering the NBA draft and went out to put up 72 points the next game. Overall in Lithuania, he averaged 12 points and 3 rebounds per game and shot 41% from 3 before heading back to the States to prepare for the draft. Meanwhile, LeVar was staying busy with his own new venture. He announced he'd be starting a new league that would shake up the basketball world. LeVar created the Junior Basketball Association, or JBA, as competition for the NCAA, a way of playing professionally and bypassing college ball. While Jello continued training and attending draft camps, LaMelo was set to be the face of dad's new league. Despite all his preparation for a shot at the NBA, Jello didn't hear his name called on draft night. There were still too many questions around his game and his overall mindset following the arrest in China. Although he was devastated, he didn't hang his head or give up his dream. A new beginning was on the horizon in the fall of 2018 for Jello as he teamed up with little bro on the JBA's Los Angeles Ballers. Jello balled out in the JBA. There were plenty of eyes on the upstart league, and especially the Ball Brothers. Jello did his best to give them a show. Oh, the Michael Morgan finds Jello. Find Jello for a three. Jello going to work, pulling up for three. Jello pulls up, cash and splash. He was named co MVP of the JBA All Star game. And then he took home JBA Finals MVP with an incredible 58 points, 11 boards, and 6 assists. At the end of the season, he was selected to the JBA USA team, which saw Melo and Jello go back to Europe, this time with a team of American All-Stars to dominate the competition. In January 2019, the G3 Lux sneaker dropped, Leangelo's own signature shoe under Big Baller brand. Now that's a flex if I ever seen one. Then, in December 2019, he signed with the G League team Oklahoma City Blue as a practice player. It seemed like things were finally coming together for the middle brother. But then, another wave of bad luck struck. 
Jello never got to play in the G League in 2020 due to the coronavirus pandemic. Basketball as a whole was shut down, and Jello had no idea when he'd get another chance to prove himself. Fast forward to December 2020. Jello was invited to training camp with the Detroit Pistons, what he thought would be a huge opportunity to showcase his skills on an NBA floor. In a move that confused many, Leangelo was waived by the Pistons without ever playing in a preseason game. He had gained some respect among Pistons faithful and became an unlikely fan favorite without having played a game for them. But again, Jello wasn't phased. This young man is determined and is going to continue working brick by brick. But we know Jello's never run from a challenge. All he's asked for is a chance to prove he belongs. No one, I mean no one, has had a basketball journey quite like Leangelo Ball. He's been overseas and back. He's been on top of the basketball world and battled back from his lowest point. All by the age of 22, enough likes, enough retweets. Leangelo just wants his chance to ball. Will his hoop journey end in the NBA? Can he be the next undrafted three-point weapon to make a huge impact a la Duncan Robinson? What lucky team is gonna prove LeVar right and get this diamond in the rough? <laughs> I guess only time will tell. It's been your favorite storyteller, O.T. Cambo. I gotta get out of here now, though. Later. O.T. is taking over the world, y'all. You gotta get fitted head to toe like your boy. Woo, yeah, I'm rocking that Overtime Fits Takeover Collection. If you're trying to add it to yours, man, make sure you hit the link below in the description. I gotta go tell my mama I'm on overtime. Mama!